snowing hard. Everything's covered. Oh, like you're trying to match the climate of the game to the one outside. We got an air fryer. It's kind of my favorite thing in the world right now. You can make toast, like you can toast a bagel in here in 30 seconds. I really like um, hash browns and normally like, you know, you can make them in the microwave in like 30 seconds, but they're all soggy and gross. If you want to make them in the oven, you'd have to preheat the oven, wait, you know, it takes around like half an hour. Pop one in here for less than five minutes. It's perfectly crispy. Okay. I also just like, I need to talk about this for a second. I bought this for the bottle because as you see, like, I do like to collect bottles and put candles or flowers or something in there. I got this thinking that it would be decent. It's all in Italian and it was absolutely disgusting. It's like grape medicine vodka. Like who wants it? Um, I sure don't, but it's going to sit in timeout corner for a little bit. What'd you find? Yeah, it's just like outside. Snowfield Stable. rink is gonna be quite empty but at the same time today is definitely a snow day the kids are home from school the adults are home from work so it could be quite packed but um I guess we'll see either way it's just nice to be out for a little walk there's nothing like being outside during extreme weather conditions it's kind of like a challenge I actually had just like the most distressing experience. <laughs> I was taking my balaclava off because it was getting a little too hot and my AirPod fell into the snow. So if you can imagine, like this snow is extremely deep and soft. So the AirPod fell right through to the bottom and I just spent the past half hour trying to dig it up and hoping it wasn't damaged. But now it's uh, back in my ear and we're good to go. the way I can't tell at all if this ring's open. Ooh. So the ring's covered in snow. Yeah, it's not it's not happening today. treacherous walk. It was beautiful, but treacherous. Uh, so I'm currently sitting in front of the heater defrosting myself. I really wanted to share with you guys this uh, drawing activity that I've been doing for the past couple weeks. Um, I bought myself 
a large pad of paper and some different forms of charcoal. Uh, this is just some thicky vine charcoal sticks. Um, and this is willow charcoal, which has a little bit of a different quality to it. The vine charcoal is very dense and very thick and it makes super dark marks. The willow charcoal is almost lighter than air. It feels really just like a, it feels like you're picking up like, like an ember. Like it's so light and the marks that it makes are light, but it's, um, they're really good for building up value if you're trying to start really light. And then I have like a thin, these are really fragile, like a little thin stick of them. And I have an eraser. And basically what I've been doing is I'll set a timer for 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'll sit and I'll make as many marks as I can with the charcoal. I just remember in drawing classes that I've taken in school, there's been a huge emphasis on like mark making and not thinking about like the outcome of like what it is you're making so much as like the process of making interesting marks with different things. I was just thinking about this one class I took where we were encouraged to bring in anything we wanted. We were all collaborating on this large scroll of paper, making all the most interesting marks we could. And I remember at some point I had wet ramen noodles in my hand that I was dipping in ink and throwing at the paper and kind of yo-yoing the clumps of noodles so that they would kind of like stick and release and um, made some interesting marks with that. But uh, charcoal is one of my favorite mediums like ever. And at this point in time, I don't so much feel inclined to make something that is representative or, you know, uh, realistic. Um, I'm just having fun with process. So I've been sitting out here on the floor, lighting some incense, putting on like a great record and uh, making as many interesting marks as I can. What that can mean is like you can add, add, add. You can also take away. So like using the eraser as a tool is also really um, important to do. I'll show you some of the ones that I've done already and then you can just sit and join me and have a relaxing time as we make marks together. You don't have to have a, a piece of paper this big, it can be a traditional 8.5 by 11 um, and it doesn't have to be charcoal, it can be any medium you like. But the idea is that you're not trying to make something, like you're really just enjoying the process and you're thinking about like, I, don't know, I think it's easier if I show. We're not sitting here and thinking, oh I'm gonna draw this portrait. We're thinking like, what's something interesting that I can do with the charcoal? Like for instance, I can go weep, 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 weep. And that's fun. And then, okay, I like using my fingers a lot so we can go boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and then, okay, let's say we, if we want, we can also, the eraser has been really cool for smudging and it makes this kind of like warped look. And then you just keep adding, maybe you can smudge that away, add a bit more, like, the idea is that you're creating almost like a time capsule of the half hour you spend. Um, I'll show you some of the others that I've done. And it, it's super meditative and, you know, as someone who's really struggled to, um, I guess, seize control and, and pressure from myself when I'm making art, like, this has been a game changer because I really am, like, not thinking whatsoever about what I'm making in the moment. Like, I am just... Like, it might look like scribbles, but this is just a half hour process of me building up and taking away. Here, let's see. Oh, this one was fun. Do another one. Like, in this instance, the eraser can be super valuable in creating these, like, interesting kind of marks. And right up here is, like, my favorite part. Because there's these little, like warbled effects. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Like this little warbly smudgy effect that I can get with the eraser. Little moments where I was dragging, I was dragging the willow charcoal which was super fragile and making these kind of dragging marks, little dots. It's just so heavily connected to movement like I find it hardly tells me about my mind but more about my body because all of this mark making is done with my arms and my body um it is directly attached to my physicality so it tells me a lot more about like what's going on in my bod that day um like how i'm feeling how i'm feeling what kind of movements i feel like making and i don't know i find that super interesting it's almost like it feels like i'm recording myself dancing for half an hour 
and then I'm watching the entire performance captured in one image. It, I don't know, I'm just having a lot of fun doing this, so. I'm gonna start my timer for 30 minutes. I'm also gonna light one of these. It's incense, but it's like these kind of scraps of wood. It's this little, oh my god, my fingers look crazy. This is my incense of choice today. Let's put her up there. How cute my house is.